This is my response to Laura Colfer Taylor, the prosecutor in the CRS case. Let's go ahead and talk about it. What's up, Wolverines? Welcome back to John Crump News, where we discuss everything to a related. My name is John Crump. I'm an investigative journalist that reports on gun issues and believe very, very strongly in the First Amendment. And I cannot be intimidated, and we're going to talk about that in a second. But before that, like, comment, and subscribe. I would really appreciate it. This is an open letter to the prosecutor of the auto key card case, Laura. Laura, can I call you Laura? I'm going to take off my jacket because I might get a little bit heated here. And if I do, I'm sorry. But we're on first things basis is here. Since you watch my videos, you must be a subscriber, I guess. I don't know. Thank you for the likes. Thank you for the views. But I hear that you had a little problem with me using the word evil in one of my videos where I called you evil. And I'm going to have to stand by that. I wish no one any harm, especially you. I pray for you every night, believe it or not, I do. But you are evil, and I'm going to lay down the reasons why. The first reason why you are evil is you're prosecuting innocent people, and you know that they're innocent. The evidence makes that abundantly clear that these men did nothing wrong. That would be Matt Hoover and also Justin Irvin. Yet you still prosecuted them. You are taking them away from their families. Justin has been locked up for a couple of years now and he's looking at some very serious time. Matt was taken into custody after the trial because you said that you felt threatened by Matt. Matt has never hurt anyone in his life. In fact, I'm not sure that he can. He's a happy-go-lucky guy and I have never ever heard him wish anything of violence on anyone, including you. Matt is a caring guy. He is a father figure. And you decided to advance your career that you were going to take this man and rip him away from his family for something that's not illegal, yet you want to portray that it is illegal. You even admitted in court that the auto key card might not necessarily work. And if you look at the testing, they worked it by jamming, which you can do with a primer or anything else. But yet you still prosecuted. The order that you try to put in to get the jury to not even have to consider that the auto key card doesn't work to convict is ridiculous. And you did that because you know that the evidence was against you. So prosecuting of innocent people is one of the reasons why I think that you are evil. When I grew up, I used to think prosecutors were the good guys and the defense attorneys were the ones that were defending the scum of the earth. Well, after college, I was pre-law for a little bit. I figured out that it was actually the prosecutors that were doing evil and the defense attorneys that were doing good. I used to have this narrow belief in justice that if someone is brought to trial for a crime, then they must have committed that crime. And that's simply not the case. And that's one of the reasons why I'm so against the death penalty, because innocent people have been put to death by prosecutors that want to concentrate on their career more than justice. You have put your career over justice. You have put yourself over liberty. And that's something that I feel is very, very anti-American. And with that said, that's your prerogative. You are free to do that if you want. I just don't think that morally I could do it. And I think ethically it is wrong. And I think anyone that can put innocent people in prison for the rest of their lives, as Justin, if he gets a max sentence, or Matt, if he gets a max sentence, he was looking at the majority of his life. I think anyone that can do that to innocent people just to advance their career is evil. That's just my opinion. And I have a little problem here. You brought up my coverage of the auto key card trial to the judge, and you had a huge problem with me calling you evil because you thought some rando off the internet was going to do something, which I don't think you actually did because the Justice Department themselves released your name, and they put your name right in the press release so you can get all the fame for putting innocent men in prison. And 
I think that you're trying to violate my First Amendment right to freedom of speech. Freedom of the press, too. I am a journalist. I'm actually a credentialed journalist, if you don't know. And you're trying to stifle freedom of speech by shooting off this ridiculous claim to the judge, which you know is not going to go anywhere. But your whole entire point was to get it back to me. And it is back to me. But guess what? I don't get intimidated at all. I can't physically get intimidated. I have something wrong with my head. I don't get intimidated. I've never been intimidated in my life. Don't even know what it feels like to be intimidated. But you are trying to do it to someone that can't get intimidated. I will not back down. I am seeking the truth. And I'm not doing anything wrong. I am doing protected speech via the First Amendment. And if it's my opinion that you are evil then that could be my opinion. I'm not stating that as a fact. I'm just saying my opinion is you are an evil, unethical person. But I still pray for you, and I still wish you all the best because I don't want to see anything bad happen to anyone, including my friends that are facing long prison sentences because of the unjust justice that you are trying to put them through. So... Just to wrap up this video, I'm not intimidated. I am well protected under my First Amendment speech. Thank you for the views, though. I really, I really appreciate that. And uh, if you want to talk, yeah, hit me up. I got my email open. DM, DM me, whatever you want to do. We can talk, but I, th I think you won't do that. Just a feeling. All right, guys, that is it. That's my open letter. All right. Love you very much. Stay ever vigilant. Stay ever free. Keep in the fight. I'm out of here. Wolverine's motherfucker.